Today I've ended reading this book Post Office by Charles Bukowski and today I'm gonna talk about this. Hello everybody, what's new in your life? I hope that everything's fine and today we're gonna talk about this dude who was living in this dirtiness, magnus and so of uh, like a drinking, drinking fever. Yes, let's join to this uh, book. Post Office is a book of uh, really dirty and low low life of American. Imagine if you are a drunkard, what would would you do for example what would i what would i do yes and uh, in this book we found one person chinaski chinaski i forget his name hank chinaski it is our main character and he lived a life of a drunkard he's almost 49 years old uh, 49 to 50 50 years old and he worked as a as a mailman who always uh, goes to different uh, places, who even sometimes rape women, rape rapes a woman because uh, he found one girl. Like uh, he was doing mailing, delivering of mails, and he found one home, and inside of this home he found a woman, and he raped her. And it is kind of really scary, scary thing. Not like a scary, but not super moral and. Uh, etiquette thing yes that we should listen to but about this man he's a kind person because uh, in one moment he found one girl he found her, one girl and married her but this woman had died and uh, he uh, he went. He went uh, before her. Di before her dyness, di dying. He communicated with her in a hospital, and she was communicating with her so touchful and so empathetical. And even when he tried to call a doctor and uh, to say to doctor like, uh, "Can you help to her?" or maybe to nurse, "Can you help to her?" and uh, nurses always asked. Uh, answer answered like sir uh, will be time we will uh, we will help to her and uh, he always uh, spoke to them back that uh, why are we talking about sore 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 you repeating all only sore 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 if it could be a man who are so rich or president's son then you could help him would help him yes and uh, it is about uh, this kind of empathy that he wanted to help her uh, wife to survive but uh, wife had died and uh, next wife appeared and they were married again and they had a child and child too was in this story I, maybe if you did not read this book i telling you right now something that you are not understand a lot okay let's start from the beginning we have a postman who delivers uh, post uh, post mails uh, ma mails to people around the city around the city and uh, he has schemes schemes at a specific plan maps that he should learn and he walks to around the streets and finds where to where to mail and where to deliver to them and sometimes he finds uh, he finds these houses and does his job it is what he does but in a free time he's he's a drunkard who always drinks who always uh, goes to pubs who always goes to bars and who always uh, does uh, some of uh, some of drinking part of his life like uh, he likes to drink uh, some booze yes and uh, it is uh, his likely his uh, the most likeful thing that he likes to do it is to drink second thing that he likes to do it is uh, spending time and investing time to girls it is like a compound effect of drinking and uh, having some of contact of uh, tummy banana and uh, twinkle cave of a girl and uh, the tummy banana of a man and uh, he liked to do this he always ate pussies and he always uh, hang hung up with them and uh, it is a story of, about dirtiness and uh, this low life uh, experience what will 
what will you learn if you read this book, if you are a learner of English? Because I'm a Russian man and uh, I was reading this book to improve my English of dirtiness, because to be able to understand stand-up, like to be able to understand some dirty jokes, to be able to understand what is true, what is evil, what is dirtiness, what is something in English language without uh, watching it in real life and describing it, need to read it and uh, need to understand understand what uh, people speak about it and uh, what will you learn you will learn much more vocabulary about uh, hanging out with girls first next you will learn more vocabulary about post uh, office how post office office works you will learn also you will learn vocabulary about drinks about uh, different types of uh, how to drink uh, your things and uh, a connection between uh, t Tommy Banana and uh, and Twinkle Cave. You will learn in this book, guys. Also, what I want to say, nothing else. Maybe you will learn uh, uh, some some people traits. Yes, you will learn. Also, you will know how to live as a drunkard a bit. If you and maybe you will be a bit of motivated. If you think that your life is uh, shit, then you will read this book and you will be motivated that your life is really a nice gift. And uh, his life is so repeatful. His day repeats over and over again. He al always do drinking, post office and girls. That's all. And uh, what's more, I wrote it on my uh, this thing. I wrote it uh, here, yes, he likes girls, he likes drinking, and again drinking, he was 49 years old. Ah, and right now I, I want to talk about the most funniest uh, part of this story. The most funniest story of part of this story was when he was uh, smoking a cigar, because uh, he c could allow it to himself, and he was smoking it in a post office, and... Uh, in some moment, his uh, left mail overs, leftovers of mail, started to started to be burnt and uh, occurred with flames, and uh, it was like a fire inside of a post office. And I thought that right now post office will be burnt really by this uh, drunkard, but uh, he burnt a bit, and uh, he saved all of these things. He did things of, I don't know, he prevent fire fully, but it was almost inferno, and uh, he always burned everything, but he burned his hand, and uh, yes, after that he went to doctor, and uh, wanted to uh, to take uh, some of the connection of Tommy Banana with uh, her, and it is all always story about breasts, about teats, about uh, the twinkle caves, and uh, back, back way, and uh, all, almost about it, and I think that uh, one more book called Women will Women will be much more. I didn't read it fully, but I started to read it too, and uh, I'm so glad that I ended this book. Right now I can do like a check, check sign for this book. Would I recommend it for you? Yes, I will recommend it to you because uh, every person has their own unique vocabulary, and this. Person, I think that it is the most uh, in English uh, literature is the most uh, nicest who can write about low life because he has his own experience. And uh, did you know that Charles Bukowski wrote this book for seventeen or twenty-one year days, 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 because he needed money to to drink too, because Charles Bukowski was uh, a drunkard too in real life and he wrote it almost autobiography like autobiography and it is interesting and uh, what's more we can read from this book one moment ah also he was doing uh, race betting race betting means that uh, you go to horse uh, races and you do bets like uh, which of these horses will win and uh, he was doing this uh, stuff and uh, he won a bit money and uh, when he won his month wage he was so surprised he was doing like three thousand uh, dollars he 
earned or he d did betting on three thousand dollars but for 1963 or what's the age of this book one moment he was doing what's the age of it 1969 1969 it is the age of it and for 1969 it is so big amount of money so big number and um, i think that it was interesting story and uh, what's the motivation of this person I think that uh, this person motivated by hanging out and by uh, experiencing experiencing fun fun adventure in his life. Yes, and I feel really feel that my English is improved by reading this book and uh, I can describe this book uh, in a better paints in a better uh, like uh, beautiful colors and I like it a lot. And uh, if you want to recommend some books, you can recommend it in the description below, but recommend it if uh, we have PDF file uh, opened free in, uh, in, uh, on, on the internet, because if we don't have PDF file, then need to buy it, and, but I don't have uh, money to buy anything. I try to monetize this channel and my Russian channel. My Russian channel is not monetized. This channel is monetized partnerly. But uh, my earnings are not so big. I, I earn ten dollars a month from this channel. It is a good money, but uh, I understand that for buying a new book, need uh, a bit of more, and uh, need to move to uh, need to go to Moscow because I'm on in the Moscow district. But uh, all books in English we can find only in Moscow. Yes two cities where, where you can find English books in uh, Russia. It is Moscow and St. Petersburg. It is almost, almost of all English books you can find uh, there. In Podolsk, so low chances of it. Yes. Thank you a lot for watching and have a wonderful day, nice uh, moments. Thank you a lot for everybody who was writing messages. Jack, hello, by the way, if you are watching this video. Hello also, you uh, know, Yurt and other people who wrote uh, comments, who wrote uh, some uh, recommendations for reacting videos. I appreciate your help and I want to go forward and I will improve my English, I will communicate with American people, I will do what possible. Yes, and I understand that my English is really improving daily and uh, it is a progress that I can touch, really. Because before I thought that uh, my English is not improving, but now, yes, we have a bit of daily progress. Thank you for watching, see you next time, you're a cool guy or gal, bye-bye.